Okay, in case you were wondering, the uh, the hitch here, the whole assembly there, uh, we will make available to you uh, to rent along with the camper, so you don't need to worry about that. All right, so we're gonna hook up the camper to the truck, but before, we wanna make sure that our stabilizers are all put up, all four of them. Now, your Wilcox, which is that red thing sitting right there, the, the Wilcox, you can leave those on, uh, especially if you're on some hilly terrain and you're afraid that the uh, camper might roll away. It's a good idea to keep the Wilcox in there. But just make sure that the stabilizers are in the up position and we can hook the camper to our vehicle. We are ready to hook up the camper to the vehicle. First thing you want to do is plug your electricity in. You want the you want the uh, the battery to the camper. You want that to be charging while you do this, because um, you I mean you can run out the uh, battery pretty quick with this jack. Because we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower it onto the ball, gonna hook it up. Then we're gonna raise it up really high so we can get our sway bars on. Okay. So bringing that jack up and down, you don't want to put a lot of wear and tear on your battery. So we're pulling a lot of juice off the truck now. Okay, so let's lower the camper down. Again, make sure your, your stabilizers are in the up position. I'm glad that happened right there because you want to make sure that your vehicle doesn't have the parking brake on. Make sure the parking brake or the emergency brake is turned off because you know the truck will move a little bit, give a little bit, and you're going to need that for situations like that. So the ball wasn't perfectly under here and it caused the truck to move a little bit, to give a little bit, which is a good thing. So don't have your emergency brake or parking brake on when you're, when you're hooking it up or taking it off. So let's finish this up here. Okay, the truck's starting to go down. The weight of the truck's going down, so we know it's on there. Let's get our safety chains out of the way. Okay, pull our lock in. See how easy that went in? If it doesn't go in easily, you're not all the way on. So it went in easily, okay? Put our pin in here. Okay, now we're gonna put our safety chains on. All right, you see we've got our safety chains on now. Um, depending on the model of your vehicle, some vehicles make these hooks. They put them in, the, in a horrible spot. Sometimes the electrical is right next to it where you can't turn the, the hook to get it on. Um, that's usually a Ford thing. <laughs> some of them have where it's really easy to hook on. Mine's about halfway difficult, um, but the ones with the power on the side, they're a little difficult, but. Okay, so on this side, this safety chain here, you'll see there's a wire there. That's intertwined, it goes into there. That's a safety mechanism, so if you're driving down the road and the trailer comes, comes loose, it'll pull that pin right there and the trailer brakes will lock up. And then you just make sure that that safety chain it's not tight, but not loose, not too loose. Okay, so you don't want that pin pulling. See how it's kind of loose through there. Okay, now the sway bars are off on both sides. Make sure you put your pins back in here so we don't lose them. Okay. Safety chains are off. You notice I didn't do a video on how to put on, take the safety chains on and off because it's kind of embarrassing because it could be a real pain in the butt. So, they're off. All right, we're gonna lower the jack now. Now we wanna get it, we wanna get the uh, jack off the blocks before we un unlock it. Or you can get down there far enough. We, we are plenty far enough, so. We'll take this off here, unlock easy here. Now this pin right here, I'm gonna put it in one of the compartments, just tuck it nice and 
nice and neat on the left side of one of the compartments so we don't lose it. Okay, now you notice I've, I've kept the uh, electric plugged in there so the uh, jack doesn't drain the battery. Again, make sure your vehicle is not does not have the parking brake on or the emergency brake on. We want the truck to be able to move a little bit. Okay. Now, also another good thing to do is go ahead and put your wheel cocks under your wheels. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to determine where my camper is going to go, and I'll put the wheel cock down behind it, and I'll back it. I'll back the camper up to the wheel cock, so that way I know it gets nice and snug under at least one wheel, and then just put the other wheel cocks on just as best as you can kick them up in there as best you can we just don't want the trailer to run away so let's get our truck off of here now most of the time the truck's going to get kind of is going to get stuck the the ball there is going to get stuck so move your truck around a little bit kind of sway okay we're not we're not high enough yet okay yep see we're we're high enough now Just make sure you got enough clearance to get your uh, pull your truck out. Which I do believe we do. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, we're ready to unplug it from the truck. Lay that over here. Make sure the plug part of this is facing down. We don't want water to collect into it if it rains. So we'll make sure it's pointing down. Wrap the safety chain over like so. And you're ready to pull, pull away.